high school sweetie reached out to me. Oh, Jesus. Dear Bill, longtime listener of the podcast, seen all your specials. Look forward to season FOA of F is, for, F is for Family. I am 22 and have been listening to the podcast for the last five years. Tremendous. Uh, the other day, I literally put myself in, in, I put you in my shoes. Like if all of a sudden, if you were 50 and your high school sweetheart reached out to you, how weird that would be because both of you would be married or divorced. That would be crazy. Um, anyways, I am 22. And I've been listening to the podcast for the last five years. The other day, my high school sweetie texted me out of the blue explaining that I was on her mind and she couldn't hold back her feelings of curiosity. So she texted me. Well, that was smart. That's what she should do. You're young. This is all, this is all above board. No, no Biden. No Biden. Um, <laughs> no side boob. I now live in a different city, have a new girlfriend, and my ex and I haven't spoken in over a year. Oh, so you only broke up with her a year ago. I thought you hadn't talked to her since high school. Oh, okay. In the past, she has reached out to me when she's having difficulties in her current relationship and, in my opinion, would text me to test the waters to see if I was ready to get back together with her. And, of course, things would always escalate to the bedroom. Her text went on to say that the next time I was in town, we should get together for coffee or something and, quote, catch up. Uh, I was skeptical but played along and agreed... Wait, you have a new girlfriend here, man. I don't know about this, but you're young. This is what you do. I was skeptical, but played along and agreed. She then went on to say that she has the cutest puppy and I j just have to meet. All right, now she's drawing you into her house or her apartment. And I was even more skeptical of her true intentions. Jesus, you're acting like the white guy in every fucking horror movie when I was growing up. I need to investigate. I asked her if she still lived with her current boyfriend, and she said, no, it's complicated. So, Bill, would I just be dumb to actually meet up with her and chat with the thought that maybe she actually wants to catch up, or should I just stay away, reaching out to you because you've always been great with advice and relationship, which wish you and your family all the best. <clears throat> all right. Let me get to the top of this thing here. Um, I now live in a different city and have a new girlfriend. All right, you have a girlfriend, dude, so you should know. You should not be doing this. Would you be cool if your new girlfriend was fucking catching up with her old old boyfriend who got a new goldfish and wanted her to come by his apartment to check it out? You know what she wants to do. I know. My listeners know. And you know. Your dick is taking you over there, buddy. You don't seem like you, you didn't mention one time that you still have feelings for this woman at all. I think it's some fucking throwback pussy that you're going to. Uh, it's not fair to your new girlfriend. You shouldn't fucking do it unless you still have feelings for this woman, at which point you should not be in a relationship with this other new girlfriend. and You should figure that out. But all is forgiven because you're only 22 years old, you know, and you have a dick. So these are tough years as a guy. You don't know what the fuck to do. So, no, I would not go. I, I would, you know. If I could go back and talk to the 22-year-old me, I would say don't do shit like this. Um, especially now, okay, where you have social media and all that, and there's nothing preventing her after you hook up with her, which you know you're going to do. There's nothing preventing her from fucking, you know, when she finds that she know you have a girlfriend, she probably doesn't. And if she finds out, there's, you know, you're going to get caught. The whole fucking thing's going to blow up in your face, you know. And, and that's going to be it. So I would not do it. I wouldn't do it. It's not fair to the girlfriend that you have. But um, I don't know. You, the weird thing about all of this is I don't think you're into either one of these women. I think you should be single. Because <laughs> you have a new girlfriend. You didn't say that I love that's fucking awesome and blah, 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 blah. You didn't say that. And then you didn't say that you still love your ex. Um, I think you're trying to fuck both these chicks is what I'm thinking. I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. And I would also try to assess how you feel about your new girlfriend before you waste her time and break her heart. You might want to be single is what I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards that. I don't have enough information here, but that's, I didn't see any sort of, uh, you know, my high school sweetheart. I felt like I could be with her. I thought this was the one I never heard that. And I never heard that about the new one. So I'm just going to keep saying the same thing over and over again. So Good luck with that situation, sir. 
Um, it's a tricky one. All right, that's the podcast, everybody. Um, I'm going to watch the MotoGP and uh, get caught up in supports, some sports and try to catch the uh, Tiger Woods Masters, at least some fucking highlights, something of it. Um, once again, Travis Roy tickets, foundation tickets go on sale. Uh, the pre-sale is this freaking Wednesday and Thursday. I'm going to tweet, tweet, uh, sorry, tweet the link, Instagram it and all of that shit, uh, Facebook it. And uh, please come down. It's going to be a great, great night, a stand-up for uh, a great foundation. And uh, that's it. Go fuck yourselves, and I'll check in on you on Thursday.